Hi there, Lori Jablonski, and this is His Government, um, AP Government and World Politics. Good to see you, even if it is through the computer screen. So let me tell you a little bit about the class. Um, first of all, AP Government, the first semester, World Politics honors the second semester. AP Government is um, something I've been teaching for 20 years now with my teaching partner, Ellen Wong. Um, we love it. It's definitely a bit of a challenge doing this um, through distance learning, through the computer screen, but we are trying hard to do the stuff that we've always done to make the class, um, I think, really interesting and a great capstone to your students' HISP experience here at McClatchy High School. So AP government, yes, we prepare the students for the AP exam if they choose to take that in May. Um, the district, from what I understand, the district will be paying for the AP test for everyone again this year. They will be automatically signing up the students for the AP test in May. And uh, most students do take it. Some students decide not to when it comes close to the test time for a variety of reasons, but most students take it and they do pretty well. They typically do pretty well. Um, we will be having test review sessions and study sessions. Um, since this is a one semester class, some schools do AP government for the entire year. We do it for a semester. So that means we have to do review sessions in April and May to prepare for the tests and we do that every year and we'll continue to do so this year no matter what form the test takes probably well i'm guessing maybe some sort of online form like they did last year okay so but let's talk about the class um college level class with a big dose of high school support students are expected to keep up on their reading we do assign a fair amount of reading they are um, in many, many instances, their homework or their independent time in the online digital learning world, world, their asynchronous time will be their reading, their independent reading that we assign. They'll have typically maybe one graded assignment a week. Their assessments, um, Ms. Wong and I are still kind of figuring that out, but we think we're going to be doing um, short written response assessments that are very similar to the types of writing they will be doing for the AP test. Um, also very similar to the types of writing they'll be doing for college um, social science classes, certainly um, for their undergraduate social science work. So, so I think we're heading that way for their assessments. We um, are going to try to continue to do things like Socratic seminars and debates and certainly guest speakers. We already, we, we're very proud of the guest speakers that we line up every year and already we have um, a whole bunch of people who have agreed to zoom in with us and that includes the California State Supreme Court Chief Justice Sakuye will be joining us. Um, federal Judge Morrison England, who does a, a teaching, kind of teaching seminar with us. We almost call him our adjunct his faculty member because he comes every year and teaches about the federal court system. He's already agreed to come. So we're very excited that, that our guest speaker tradition is going to continue. Um, it's an election year. Election, presidential election years are always the, the most provocative, interesting time, I think, for this class. This year, already off the hook, um, we spent Monday um, talking about the legacy of Justice Ginsburg. We also talked about the political implications of her death, what happens next, um, Donald Trump, what is he likely to do, what's the Mitch McConnell Senate likely to do, how that translates into the political situation and the, and, um, the different dimensions of the presidential race. The students were very engaged, they were very up on what was going on. We are going to approach our Monday time, that shortened class time, as a current event time. We will be using that time. Um, we'll probably be using all of that time um, to be talking about current events and the campaign season with our students. So we're, we're excited that we have that time available and we already um, put it to good, good use this week. Um, 
want to talk to you briefly about college applications. I know it's on everybody's minds. The students are saying that they're now, you know, really focused on, on getting this together. Ms. Wong and I are asked to write a lot of letters of recommendation, which we are so happy to do. We always ask for a two week lead time because we get, we tend to get hit at certain times with being asked um, for letters by a lot of students at the same time. So a two week lead time is really help, helpful. Um, we will be working with the College and Career Center in terms of making information available to your students um, about visits from, um, Zoom visits from different colleges, financial aid, uh, talk about you know city college classes um, the city college process so we will be working very closely with the college and career center to support your um, son or daughter through this through this time uh, we know it's difficult and um, so support is the name of the game for us support and flex flexibility um, i do want to share my uh, google classroom with you so you can kind of see where we house everything for the class. So what I've got here up on my screen is my period three Google Classroom and my period four. These are the same, both HISP AP government classes. So period three and period four. And um, so what you see, this is the, this is the stream where, um, the Zoom, all the Zoom information and, and just announcements for the class. The classwork page is where our assignments are. And so this is what we're doing this week. I have been um, following the lead of other teachers and our principal, Ms. Egan, yay, who um, recommended that we organize our classwork Top, by topics by week, by the week that we are, um, that we're working in and when our assignments are due and that's worked really well. So we are on week three or the full week three. I called um, that the first two days of class, September 3rd and 4th of the Smart Start and then, um, and then week one, week two, week three. So the assignments are housed here. You can see we're talking about the Declaration of Independence, John Locke's social contract, uh, the Articles of Confederation, the first government of the United States that failed, will be going into the Constitutional Convention next week. So um, that's how we're heading. I also have, um, you know, my interesting, interesting little tab. It's just articles and media that are not necessarily tied into our a specific course of study, but they're just interesting political things I find that I want to share with students. I have a school resources tab where I keep thinking, oh, look at that, college visits from the Career Center. So what's going on at the College and Career Center? And um, so we've got virtual tours and college workshops and um, some of these I've got to get, looks like, some have already passed, but some are still, yes, through the end of the month. So anyway, there's the College and Career Center newsletter information. Class resources. This is where you will, uh, where the students will find just general information about the class and for your information, where the syllabus is. And I want to keep my syllabus up on the screen just for a minute or so, so you can see how to get in touch with me. Here is my email, laurie-jablonski at scusd.edu. Here's the number where you can text me. As it says right here, I strive to answer my emails within 24 hours, and it's usually faster than that. Uh, but I do try to stay up on that. So I wanted you to know that, but this is how you get in touch with me. And again, this is housed on the class resources tab in our Google Classroom. And then it just describes the class in more detail, 
our kind of philosophical approach through distance learning where we are being, you know, we're some of the stuff, honestly, we're figuring it out as we go along. What can we do? What can't we do? Um, we are still waiting for word on the status of the senior project from the district. I have heard that the district would still like the senior project to move forward, but they have given us no direction yet on specifically what to do about the senior project. So um, unfortunately, that's a hole in, in the syllabus. The, the senior project paper is usually done in their government classes with Ms. Wong and I, while the project itself, Mr. Perry and Mr. Maxwell handle, but we are, we are just kind of waiting for what the uh, district says they would like. And I know that our students are, are stretched, a lot of them are stretched very thinly right now with different obligations, family obligations, um, some of the stressors of, of the pandemic and social isolation or distancing. I'm sorry about that. We will, any information we get, of course, we will pass it along as soon, as soon, as soon as we get it from, from the district. Um, so that's what's going on with, with the syllabus and where you can find this information. Here's period four, same thing, classwork. There are all the topics, okay. So with that, I'm going to stop sharing and encourage you to call me or email me. Email, email is actually better, obviously, but um, than texting. Email is the best course. Um, but if there's something urgent, I, you know, please text me. And I just want to say that um, I didn't know what to expect teaching. Um, through the computer screen like this. Your students are incredible. Ms. Wong and I have both said that our classes are so engaged. We have our synchronous time, two days a week, synchronous, what a word, right? That's our Zoom time, our live time. And, um, and that time is, you know, it's supposed to run somewhere 40, 50 minutes. Um, it has often run longer than an hour. And that's because even if I say, okay, we're done now, you can skedaddle, the students hang out. They stay and they keep talking and they keep discussing the issues. And this is happening almost every day. Um, they are very engaged. They are very caring. They are very um, thoughtful and um, at least I can assure you that our time together is well spent. I feel honored to be their teacher um, and they're just a delight. So thank you. It's, um, it's saying, it's a testimony to all of you and um, boy, I hope we can meet in person this year. So thank you very much and um, great talking to you. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.